Have you ever wondered what happens when you subtract infinity from infinity? Take a moment to think about it. It might seem like a simple question, but the answer is anything but straightforward. What if I told you, in math, infinity isn't a number you can perform ordinary arithmetic with, and that subtracting infinity from infinity doesn't necessarily give you zero or any specific value? Today, we're embarking on a journey into the strange, fascinating, and mind-bending world of infinity. So what is infinity, really? At its core, infinity is a concept that represents something without any limit, something that goes on forever. It's not a number that we can reach or count to. Instead, it symbolizes endlessness. Many people think of infinity as just an extremely large number, but that's a common misconception. You could count all the grains of sand on every beach on Earth, and you still wouldn't have a drop in the bucket compared with infinity. So how can we hope to handle the idea of subtracting infinity from infinity? Since infinity represents an unbounded concept rather than a specific number, what does it mean to take some of it away? At first glance, it might seem that infinity minus infinity should equal zero. Something subtracted from itself typically is. However, infinity doesn't behave like an ordinary number. You can't perform standard arithmetic operations with infinity as you would with regular numbers. Subtracting one infinity from another doesn't necessarily give us a meaningful result. It can be undefined or depend entirely on the context of what we're working on. Let's look at an example to illustrate this. Imagine the set of all natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, counting to infinity. Now consider removing the set of all even numbers. What are we left with? The set of all odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on, which is still an infinite set. Here we've subtracted one infinite set from another. But instead of getting zero or an empty set, we end up with yet another infinite set. I think this example shows that when dealing with infinite sets, removing elements doesn't behave like arithmetic subtraction. To understand why infinity minus infinity isn't straightforward, it's important to recognize infinity isn't a one-size-fits-all concept. In math, infinities can come in different sizes or cardinalities. For example, the infinity of the natural numbers is different from the infinity of the real numbers, even different from the real numbers just between 0 and 1. While both are infinite, the set of real numbers is actually larger in a certain mathematical sense. But infinity's puzzling nature doesn't stop there. In calculus, we encounter expressions like infinity minus infinity when dealing with limits, leading to what's known as an indeterminate form. This means we can't determine the value of the expression without some further analysis. Here's an example. Consider this limit as x approaches infinity. At first glance, if you plug in infinity, as if you could do such a thing, we get infinity minus infinity, this indeterminate form but we can resolve this situation by manipulating the expression. Let's multiply by the conjugate here. We can simplify the numerator, divide the top and the bottom by x, and now we can actually evaluate this limit, since as x tends to infinity, 1 over x tends toward 0. And with a little computation, we get 1 half. So even though we started with an infinity minus infinity situation, the limit resolves to a finite number. This example shows indeterminate forms like infinity minus infinity require careful analysis using algebraic techniques, things like L'Hopital's rule, and other methods to find out what's actually going on. You can see that exploring the world of mathematics means we need to have the right tools and resources on our journey. What other situations are like this? Things that should feel intuitive, but mathematically they're not. What about 1 to the power of infinity? You can find all about that here. Click the video on the screen to check it out. 
I'll see you in that one.